welcome to day 22, I think. I don't know if you can hear that. Tonight is the night of the Railway Children concert at Cadogan Hall. I'm currently making my way to the library balcony because I am narrating the show from above the stage. I will show you, one sec. Welcome to my Monday evening. Last night I was in the Railway Children at Cadogan Hall. Pretty sure it's Cadogan now. I'm sticking with Cadogan. I was narrating the Railway Children and I was put on this like balcony above the stage where I had a lovely time just watching the show unfold beneath me. Every now and again a spotlight came up on me. I said a little paragraph narrating the story and then I sang a song at the end. It was a great night. But last night at the after party I went to hug someone and smacked my hand against the table. And I completely forgot about that and woke up this morning wondering why my hand had that little bruise on the back of it and was hurting like hell. And it was literally about 20 minutes before I turned the camera on that I was like, oh yeah, that hurt and that's why. Agony. Speaking of agony, I also woke up this morning and my back is hurting again. I've talked about this before. I fell over a small child when I was in Chitty recurring injury it's just i just have a bad back now so i've spent the majority of today lying horizontally trying to get as much work done as i possibly can whilst lying down which is a surprising amount i've just been catching up on one of my favorite youtubers videos her name is megan tonges she is hilarious and brilliant and one of her recent videos is about revenge bodies in amongst a bunch of other things to do with weight and size. Now, a revenge body, from what I can understand, I vaguely heard the term before, but hadn't really properly given any thought to it until I watched Megan's video. A revenge body is when someone breaks up with you and then you go away and lose a bunch of weight to make them want you again, and when they do want you again, you reject them, and that's the revenge. Seems like a lot of effort to me, but... What do I know? And I just think ever since I saw that advert, that gym advert that I made a video on a few days ago, m my brain's just have been in a very like body positive place. And there was something that Megan touched on in her video that I was really interested by, which is that people sometimes have this idea that once they get thinner, their lives will get better. And I guess that's true to a certain extent, because when you exercise, when you eat healthy, you do naturally just feel better, but it's more than that. People think that when they're thinner, everything, every aspect of their lives will miraculously just fall into place. They think that once they're thinner, they'll suddenly find love, suddenly their careers will take off, suddenly money will start coming in. Now, I don't know if I'm alone or wrong in this, but I'm just not of the belief that changing something in your appearance suddenly means that every aspect of your life is going to work out for the better. Like, I cut 17 inches of my hair off a couple years ago, and nothing happened. You know, sure I felt like liberated and it was a great thing that I did. It's, you know, an achievement in my life that I'll always be proud of. But nothing happened when I cut that hair off. I just had less hair. That was pretty much it. And I just feel like with that mentality and that mindset, people actually stop themselves and hold themselves back from doing the things that will make their lives better, that will make them successful and happy because they're waiting for that time when they're thinner. When I'm thinner, that's when I'll be successful, but it doesn't work like that. Like, you can be successful now exactly as you are. And also, like, there's a million things that make up who you are that have got nothing to do with your appearance and your weight that are worth so much. Like, how about being kind, determined, passionate, loving, caring, nurturing, creative, talented, all of those things hold so much weight and are worth so much. You can work on all of those things now, or if you already are all of those things, you can use those things to your advantage 
to get you where you need to go. How you look and what size you are has absolutely no bearing on any of those things. There are so many successful people who aren't thin, so why do you have to be thin in order to be successful? Where has this mindset come from? I don't like it. <laughs> Adele. Oprah, Amy Schumer, Rebel Wilson, Melissa McCarthy, there's so many successful people who aren't thin and so surely that goes to show that being thin doesn't equal success. Sure there are loads of thin successful people but the fact that they're thin doesn't equate to their success, they are successful for other reasons than being a certain size. So basically, please don't stop yourself from doing all the things that will make you happy and will make you successful just because you're waiting for the time that you lose a few pounds because it doesn't matter, you can do all the things that will make you happy and successful right now exactly as you are. There might be no one watching this that feels this way but I know at one point in my life I used to kind of think that way, there was a portion of my brain that was like, do you know what, when you're thinner you're going to be happier and when you're thinner you're going to be more successful it's not true. It's not true. I've been talking a lot about body image and the like on this channel uh, more recently because it's something I'm very passionate about and it's, I, I don't know, it's just something that I have struggled with, still struggle with, see lots of, lots of people struggling with um, in the world of the internet and so if me talking about it can help in some way then I'd like to do that. Let me know in the comments if you enjoy these types of videos, if you like me talking about body image and body positivity, and if not, why? I'm curious. Thank you very much for joining me for day 22. Um, please send me healing vibes for my bruised hand and my bad back. I need it. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>